Hi friends, Jim here, back in the shop. And it's a beautiful Saturday morning. My allergies are killing me. I'm sorry if I sound a little stuffed up, but uh, trees and the flowers and everything's going nuts here, this beautiful weather. So, say I'm uh, having a quick uh, smoke here in my shop pipe. It's a Morta Smooth Levat. So, in it, I am smoking some Cornell and Dial San Sepulcro. Hope I pronounced that right. It's got some uh, North Carolina, uh, Red, Virginia, and also some dark fired from the San Sepulcro region in Italy. So it's kind of a, a uh, burly Virginia mix with a twist. So some tasty stuff. It's last Monday. Decided to open up a new tin because it's getting a little warm here. I wanted to try something a little different. As you can see, this is a thick ribbon cut and it's uh, almost a broken flake. It's so thick. And it smells nice and sweet. You can smell those red Virginias in there. But opened it up Monday. Thought I'd try something a little bit different. And I'm glad I did. Some really tasty stuff. I'm really enjoying it. I've smoked it the last six days and a couple bowls each day and it's really really good stuff if you get a chance get a tin try it out really good stuff hey storm how you doing my dog stormy here with me we were just outside i was throwing the bumper for him so he's a happy camper so i want to do a little uh shop update before i do a little pipe talk here and uh when i was in chicago i went and saw the people from the SEM table which has the rod stock for making stems and as you can see I went a little nuts got a bunch of different brindle stem material here different rods so, looking forward to using that stuff over the next year really pretty colors so, over the last uh, week or so I've been working on some pipe repairs for my brother and some friends got those all taken care of so now I'm back on the commission pipes so right now I'm getting ready to start a pot shaped uh, blasted black with a green and black brindle stem and also I'm getting ready to start a fish so I'm going to work on those now for commissions right now I'm booked up to the 1st of August so it's a good time to jump on the list and uh, if you're interested in getting a pipe made just uh, shoot me an email I'll put it down my email address down in the description or you can DM me on Instagram at JD smoking pipes so anyway I'm gonna move on to pipe or to yeah the pipe talk talk about some finishes when I was in Chicago had a couple of gentlemen ask me about the finishes I have on my pipes. And uh, on the smooths, I always buff them up and use carnauba wax on them, shine them up nice. But on the blast pipes, or rusticated, I uh, use two different kinds of finishes. Uh, one is uh, shellac, or I'll use carnauba wax powder. So. I thought I'd talk about each one of them, how they're made, their, you know, where they come from, and then the different ways I use them. So I know the larger companies that make production pipes will use lacquer on their pipes, and they do that to make them look real pretty and to keep that finish on them. And people have had problems with them in the past. I have had a few pipes where the finish bubbled up or they, they smoke real hot. So for uh, pipes with lacquer or with penetrating oil on there, they, they tend to clog up the, the pores on the briar. And it uh, keeps them from breathing or drying out correctly. It takes longer for them to dry out. So shellac, that's made from an insect from the female lac bug from India or Thailand. And that insect they use to make 
uh, shellac flakes. And if you're not familiar with shellac flakes, they're roughly about an inch, or excuse me, by a half inch by half inch. And uh, you can either buy shellac in flake form or you can buy it in liquid form. If you buy it in flake form, when you get it to your shop, you just take that and you dissolve it with some denatured alcohol and make the, the shellac up, liquid shellac. Uh, if you buy it in the liquid form, uh, usually they take the shellac flakes and they mix it up with some uh, ethanol to make it. And I usually find that it's a little thick when I get it in the, the liquid form. So I cut it with a little denatured alcohol to thin it out a little bit. So, shellac's used on wood finishes, but it's also used as food food glaze, and they use it on fruits and vegetables to make them look shiny. So it's a natural product. Now, carnauba wax is different. It's a natural product also that is used by, or excuse me, that's made by scraping the palm leaves off the carnauba palm tree. Uh, that's growing in the northeastern corner of Brazil. So carnauba wax comes from Brazil, if you're not familiar with it. And carnauba wax has a lot of different uses also. It's used in food products like fruit roll-ups and gummies or gummy vitamins, things of that nature, or the coating on hard candies. It's also used for uh, surfboard wax, paper coating, cosmetics, shoe polish, dental floss, all kinds of things. It's another uh, natural product. So, And those are what I usually use on the blasted pipes, either one, because it allows the pores to, and the briar to, to uh, or allows the briar to breathe. It doesn't clog the pores up. And it allows it to dry out better. And that's just my personal experience. When I first started making pipes, I was working with a master pipe maker. He uses shellac on his pipes, and that's where I learned to use it. And then uh, later on, I worked with Chris Morgan, and Chris Morgan is really into using carnauba wax. It's, uh, he feels it's a natural product. It allows the, the briar to breathe uh, better. I find that it really depends on the type of finish that you like. Do you like a glossy finish or do you like a more of a satin finish? Um, when you use shellac, or when I use the shellac, usually it is a glossy finish. And on a black pipe, I feel it makes it look nicer because it really makes it pop. <clears throat> uh, with the carnauba uh, powdered wax finish on a black blast, it makes it look more of a, a satin finish and you got to be real careful with it because if it is a heavier blast that uh, carnauba wax can can pile up in between the, the grain and you can get uh, white specks or spots in it and you got to go back with a soft toothbrush and really work it over to try and get that out of there so the carnauba wax it's a powdered form put it on the cosmetic brush and uh, use a heat gun to to melt it on there and that <clears throat> gives it a, a real nice look. I have been able to get a real nice shiny finish on lightly blasted pipes where I can use the powdered carnauba wax and then go back and use the buffing wheel with the uh, carnauba wax, buff it up real nice, dry buff it and get it nice and shiny. I use it on one of my shop pipes and that shiny finish lasted probably for two and a half years before it started to get kind of dull just buffed it up again and it looked shiny all over again it looked real nice it really for me depends on color and what you want the pipe to look at it's personal preference it's whatever catches your eye i've had uh, pipes that are four to five years old that i use shellac on and I've smoked the, the heck out of them and they still look shiny. The finishes are still really nice and they smoke cool and they dry out nice and I've smoked them in, in consecutive days where I've smoked them three or four days straight and had, they haven't had any problems with them drying and they smoke really nice. So 
my personal experience in working with different pipe makers, I like the shellac or the carnauba finish. And I, I lean towards the carnauba wax for my, my personal pipes because I like, kind of like the satin finish to them. Uh, both smoke well, it's just personal preference, whatever you like. So I don't want to, to uh, ramble too much, you know, 10 minutes here. So if you have any questions on finishes for the pipes, just throw them in the comments down there. I try and answer every comment I get. So anyway, I hope you guys have a nice weekend. We'll wrap this up here. So be well, stay smoky, and see you next time.